What is the purpose of doing science? In this video, we'll discuss how some of the accidental scientific discoveries have been made. After an extensive investigation, researchers at Cambridge University discovered that the larger a person is, the more adhesive glue they would need to stick to a wall, making it virtually impossible for an adult human being to have the characteristics of a Spider-Man. Didn't we know that already? Some people think this kind of work is a real waste of scientists' time and that all scientists should be researching a cure for cancer or equally important work. In other words, science that can actually save lives. But some of the best scientific discoveries have been made by accident, while scientists had an entirely other aim in mind. For example, DuPont chemist Roy Plunkett was at work on a new chlorofluorocarbon refrigerant in 1938 when he changed the lives of cooks everywhere. Testing different chemical reactions, he accidentally discovered a new polymer called polytetrafluoroethylene, but to you, known better as Teflon. Saccharine, an artificial sweetener, was found by a Russian chemist who forgot to wash his hands after a day's work. Or that time when Jamie Link discovered smart dust. She was working on a silicon chip when she accidentally broke it. When this happened, she found out that the dust that was left had the same properties as the whole chip. This is now known as smart dust. It has many uses. It's like tiny sensors. The tiny particles can be programmed to detect substances like toxins in the environment or they can be used in medical diagnoses. Or perhaps one of the most important, the discovery of penicillin. In 1928, Sir Alexander Fleming, a professor of bacteriology, noticed mould had started to grow on his petri dishes of Staphylococcus bacteria colonies. He thought his experiment was ruined until he noticed something intriguing. Bacteria wasn't growing around the mould. The mould actually turned out to be a rare strain of Penicillium chrysogenum that secreted a substance that inhibited bacterial growth. Penicillin was introduced in the 1940s, helping open up the era of antibiotics. So essentially, scientists are very curious people that want to find out how the world works. They are always asking questions. Sometimes they answer the question they started out with, sometimes they find something unexpected and useful, but they are always searching for answers. Who knows, maybe one day you might accidentally discover something really important. For more details of how scientists carry out experiments and write them up, watch this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.